Hi guys, how you doing? Max Powers here again. Going to do another follow-up review on the MK808. Uh, I'm just going to cover three quick subjects here people have been asking about. Um, real quick, I'll go over them. It's how to install Flash Player on the Dolphin browser. We went over this before, how to uh, install it on the stock browser, but stock browser's crap. Everyone knows that. We don't use it. We want to use it on the Dolphin browser, so it is possible now. Uh, courtesy of NorCal618, he did uh, post how to do this on the mini PC forums. So um, that, and then uh, another guy was asking about the Spotify app. I know it's a music app. I, that's about all I know. I don't use it. Um, and then streaming MKV files uh, over a powered external hard drive um, via USB plugged into a USB hub and it works and I'll show you that in a second so we're gonna go over how to install flash player and dolphin real quick so via the stock browser you're gonna wanna go to minipcforums.com um, to the main in the main forum you're gonna go down to the support section right here and you'll see a post um, by NorCal618. It's called Native Flash Support with Dolphin HD. Uh, basically what he's showing us to do here is install a previous version of Dolphin uh, HD browser and a previous version of Adobe Flash since um, we all know they no longer support for uh, current Jelly Bean. Um, so if you go, he's posted some links here, direct downloads. Uh, so we have the Dolphin browser there and you'll see it starting to download and then the um, flash player right there so those are both download and we'll let those go and we should be able to close out this um, so real quick if you haven't yet head over to minipcforums.com and uh, and register this is um, the only um, forum site dedicated strictly to uh, Android mini PCs. Um, it is brand new, so it's only been open for about two days. Um, so there's not much content on there, but it's growing every day. Um, so what we're going to do here is install a Dolphin browser. I don't know what happened there. And the Flash Player. It's going to replace your previous one. So I'll go ahead and install that. Uh, just click Done there and Dolphin Install. Click done and shut down this stock browser and never use it again because it's trash. So we'll um, check those out real quick, make sure they work. Uh, so just open up Dolphin and browser. You shouldn't have to check with um, anything. Um, the settings should be uh, set up. This is a pain in the butt, the orientation. But once you get through this, it will um, go back. I like to set it to perform as a desktop, not an Android phone, so it doesn't take you to the mobile sites. And we want to skip that. There we go. So we'll just check that real quick. Um, we'll look up some Flash games. So, I mean, this thing is night and day. It's good compared to speed compared to the uh, stock browser. Let's, uh, let's try this one. Uh, everything loads really fast. Um, all these games here are uh, are designed in Flash. Well, let's try Castle Spa. Sounds fun. And there it is. It's working. Sounds working. And uh, there you go. Flash games work. So that's enough of that. And uh, Moving on, going to the uh, Spotify app. I did install it already. Um, tell you real quick, it does work, but the orientation um, is messed up. It's still to the side, and we can't change that right now. Um, but the music does work. Um, the app performs great. Um, just the orientation is messed up. So we will send a uh, an email to the developer, and hopefully he can get that fixed. They're usually pretty quick with that. Um, so Spotify app works. Uh, orientation's messed up. And let's shut that down real quick. And then um, lastly, streaming MKB files 
over a powered uh, external hard drive uh, via USB into a USB hub into the MK808. Uh, here we go, we've got an external hard drive here. It's just a uh, standard, what is it, Seagate or whatever, uh, half a terabyte. Um, plugged in USB to my USB hub. Uh, I want to add there's also two other um, USB peripherals plugged in and um, everything works simultaneously. It works great. So uh, we'll go ahead and go to the stock file explorer. If you go to USB, and there it is. That's my external hard drive. Um, I've got Ice Age 4 Continental Drift. It is a DVD rip of an MKV file. So we'll try that. And it works perfectly. Um, the sound's there. The quality's there. Uh, no buffering, it's real real fluid, as we'd expect um, from this unit. So there it is. Um, real quick video, and that's about it. If you haven't uh, been over to minipcforums.com, go ahead and go there and register uh, so we can get this forum going. And uh, thanks for watching.